Yeah. Hello. How are there? Good day. This is Info Hub channel. Welcome to my channel. Um, I know you must have had a wonderful time and you must have uh, planned your year starting from this year, starting from January. You must have uh, planned your year, how it will go. So, no time. Um, today, there's something I would like to talk about and uh, that is uh, nothing but uh, how to scale up now some people doesn't know how to um, scale up quantity of raw materials maybe you were trained you just okay somebody ask you to produce one gallon or two gallon or four or four drum you know the, the one drum is that big bucket is one drum why one gallon is the small bucket that four liter why one drum is 20 liters now if by the quantity of raw material that you were given you are asked to let's assume you were given a quantity of material for you were trained with one drum or you were trained with one gallon for somebody that was trained with one drum if you are asked to produce one gallon how would you know the quantity of raw material to use in order to produce one gallon also for someone that was trained with one gallon if you are asked to produce um, one drum how would you know the quantity of material to be used in order to produce one drum from known one gallon now that is what i want to address today um, to so many people i discover that uh, this scenario is very confusing uh, so we just do it anyhow but I want to address it now and final. So I want to address it now. Thank you. Just stay tuned and see how it, it is being calculated. So, um, now, assumption, assumption, we are assuming that uh, we want to produce well, one gallon that this is quantity for one gallon so but we know that like i said this is one gallon emotion paint then one gallon is equal to four liters remember one gallon is, then but one drum is equal to 20 liters therefore 20 divided by four will give you five gallon which means five gallons will give you what 20 liters or one drum or five gallons we give you one drum that's five of it for four liters into five we give you one drum which is 20 liters now if you are giving um let's assume uh, this is a form formula for 20 liters of emotion i mean one gallon which is four liters of emotion paint okay Maybe you have calcium carbonate, CACO3, that is CACO3, and the full meaning is um, calcium trios or carbonate 4. That is the IU pack name, or you call it uh, calcium carbonate. That's common name. So let's assume it is 4 kg for 1 gallon. Assumption is 4 kg for 1 gallon. Now, for you to get the quantity that should give you for one drum, which is 20 liters, you multiply this 4 by 5. 4 times 5, which is what? 20. Then it will give you 
20 kg, which means you need 20 kg to produce one gallon of emulsion. This is assumption, not that this is what the, not that this is the right quantity, I'm, it's just an assumption that I'm just doing. Now, if, let's assume carbon is 200 gram, you now say 200, this one times five, this one times five, 200 gram times five, it will give you what? One kg, you see? To give you one kg, okay? To give you one, which means you need one kg of carbon, one kg of carbon, look at it, one kg of carbon to produce one drum or 20 liters. Then PVA, PVA, that is polyvinyl acetate. Sorry, uh, PVA, yes, times five. Okay, so 0 0.4 times five. Four times five is 20, maybe? Mm -hmm. So you need about two kg. 2 kg. You need 2 kg for one drum of P, uh, of one drum of uh, emulsion paint. So for you to produce one drum, you need 2 kg of what PVA. So this is how to calculate it. You multiply each of it by 5 because remember why we are multiplying by 5 is because what the quantity we are given, we are given that this quantity, 4 kg of calcium carbonate, 20 gram of carbon, 0.4 kg of PVA, that this is the right quantity that you need to produce one gallon or four liters of emulsion paint. Now, for you to know how many quantity you need to produce 20 liters. So you multiply them what? By five, okay? You multiply them by what? Five to get the quantity for 20 liters or one drum. So if you have question, you can ask on this very calculation. So the next one, uh, okay? Before I proceed uh, with the other one, have to uh, calculate the quantity of raw materials required if you just know for um, let me just say one drum how to know how to calculate it back to one gallon um, I would like to say this please um, um, subscribe to this video I just want you to not just subscribe, like the video. I want these videos to gain more, to reach other people also, so that they can benefit just as you are benefiting. So like this video and comment. If you have uh, derived anything meaningful from this channel, okay, from the previous videos or from these very videos, just comment, say info hope. You are doing well okay so i just want you to like the video and uh, i want to see your comments also and again there is um there is a material uh that i have on how to produce all kind of paints ranging from emulsion paint textured paint which is called test coat um Matte pens, satin, screening paints, and uh, etc. So, if you need it, okay, you can make a necessary contact through the description of this video. Please, you cannot see my contact on the comment section. Please, if somebody is chatting you from the comment section, say this is contact this number. It's not from me. So, 
you can only see the number on the description of this video and not on the comment section also in this video on this screen towards the third end of this video you will also see the number that should pop up so in case the contacts you want to would if you want to uh, get the ebook it comprises of the prostitutes the quantity of raw materials that is required to produce all kinds of paint so if you need that you can make the necessary contact and the contact is on the description of this video and on the screen towards the tail end of this video the last thing you will see in this video is the um, the contacts thank you so please don't forget to subscribe if you're a new person and if you are being with me don't forget to like and comment on this video thank you very much all right now if uh, you are given maybe one drum of a motion pet this is one drum of a motion paint you are you only have know how to produce one drum you know the quantity of raw material let's assume assumption now that's calcium for you to produce one drum or 20 liters of uh, emotion paint that's what you require the calcium is 16 kg so for you to know and the pva is 1.5 kg the calcium 150 gram titanium dioxide is 500 gram okay for you to know the quantity of raw materials you need to produce one gallon maybe this is what you know and you want to produce one gallon that's four liter how would you then know the quantity of raw materials to produce now since you've known that 16 kg is for um to produce one drum or 20 liters you need 16 kg now you now divide it by five okay since five of uh five or four liters we give you what 20 20 liters so you divide it by five it will give you what 3.2 kg so this one you divide by five it will give you 0 0.3 kg this, divide this one by five it give you 30 kg 30 grams sorry divide this one by five it will give you 100 gram or 0 0.1 kg now so remember in the other one we multiplied by five because we wanted to produce um 20 liters but this one from 20 liters we want to produce one four liters which is one gallon 